Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making chicken avocado quinoa salad. Now, good things come to those who wait, and all the hard work you put into making this recipe will pay off in the end, trust me. So, let's get started. All right, so for the ingredients, you have three main categories. You have the chicken, the quinoa mix, and the salad. For the chicken, you need a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, and you're gonna cut that into strips. And you're gonna need four tablespoons of olive oil plus one tablespoon of olive oil for cooking. You're gonna need the juice of one lime or about two tablespoons. Then you're gonna need two to three garlic cloves minced, one shallot finely chopped. Then you're gonna need half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, about four tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro, four tablespoons of chopped fresh basil, and then one teaspoon of salt. And now for the quinoa mix, you're gonna need one cup of dry red quinoa, and that's gonna yield about three cups cooked. And you're gonna need two cups of water, one tablespoon of olive oil, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and then a pinch of freshly ground black pepper. Now for the salad, you're gonna need six cups of a mescaline lettuce mix, two avocados that you're gonna thinly slice up, two medium tomatoes that you're gonna slice up, and then for the dressing, you're gonna use some lemon juice and some olive oil, and then some additional salt and pepper to taste. All right, so to get things started, you're gonna prepare all your ingredients. So starting with the chicken, you wanna cut the chicken breasts into thin strips, about a half of an inch to an inch thick, and then just make sure you slice them into roughly bite-sized pieces. Next up is the garlic. You just wanna remove the outer peel from each clove, and then finely chop the garlic, and then you can go ahead and place that into a large size bowl. Next up are the herbs. You just wanna go ahead and finely chop the cilantro and the basil, and then add those herbs back to the large bowl as well. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell notification to be notified when my next video drops. It really helps the YouTube algorithm promote my recipes. And stay tuned until the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming next week. So for the shallot, you wanna go ahead and peel off the outer layer of the shallot and then finely chop up the shallot and then take those tiny pieces and add it to the large size bowl. Just take your time chopping up the shallots. You wanna go ahead and double back and triple back on the chopping process, making sure that you get as fine of pieces as you can from the shallot. Next up, you wanna add the olive oil to the bowl as well as the juice of one lime. Now add your chopped chicken to the large size bowl and you want to mix all those ingredients together with the chicken so that they're all well covered. Once those ingredients are well mixed, you can go ahead and start adding in the black pepper, the cayenne pepper, the paprika, and the salt. And you want to go ahead and toss all those ingredients together until all the chicken is well coated. And if you're doing this by hand, make sure your hands are clean. And so once all the chicken is well coated, you can go ahead and cover the bowl with plastic wrap and marinate it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Next up is making the quinoa. So you wanna place the quinoa into a strainer or a sieve and then rinse the quinoa thoroughly with cold water for about two to three minutes by hand. This is done to wash away the starch that's currently on the quinoa. So once you do that, you want to go ahead and drain the quinoa of any excess water and then set it aside. 
And now you want to heat it about a tablespoon of olive oil in a medium sized pot over medium high heat or 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. And you want to add the drained quinoa. You're going to cook this for about one minute, stirring intermittently, letting the water slowly evaporate from the quinoa. And then after about that minute, you're going to add two cups of water and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you're going to bring all of this to a boil and then you're going to lower the temperature of the stovetop to low heat or 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107 degrees Celsius to allow this to simmer. You want to cover the pot and allow the quinoa to cook for 15 minutes on low heat. And after the 15 minutes are up, you want to go ahead and remove the cooked quinoa from the heat and let it stand for about five minutes covered. And so while the quinoa cooks, I like to cook the chicken simultaneously. So you want to heat a medium sized frying pan to medium high heat or 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. And you want to cook the chicken in one tablespoon of olive oil until all the chicken is cooked through, flipping each piece intermittently so that all sides of the chicken cook evenly. And then once all the chicken is cooked through, you can transfer it to a plate to cool and set it aside. And listen to me when I tell you the smell of this chicken is so good while you're cooking it, just wait until you have your first bite. After the five minutes are up, you can go ahead and fluff the quinoa gently with a fork after it's had time to rest. And so this is the texture of the quinoa that you're looking for. And for final touches to the quinoa, you wanna go ahead and stir in a tablespoon of olive oil and the black pepper and mix it all together until it's well combined and then set it aside. Now onto the rest of the salad ingredients. You wanna take your two tomatoes and then chop them into small bite-sized pieces. And always be mindful when you're cutting tomatoes as the skin can be firm, but then the tomato itself can be slippery at times. So always have a firm grip when you're slicing the tomatoes. Next up are the avocados. You wanna go ahead and remove the peels from both avocados, as well as taking out each pit. And you wanna go ahead and thinly slice each of the avocados and then set those ingredients aside. And if you use avocados a lot in your recipes like I do, I would definitely suggest investing in an avocado spoon. It has the perfect shape to scoop out all of that good avocado that you're looking for, as well as removing the pit. So if you love avocado, I would definitely say get an avocado spoon for your kitchen. All right, so for assembling the salad, you wanna go ahead and divide the quinoa and the salad amongst four bowls or plates. So you have enough ingredients to make at least four different servings. So on top of the salad, you want to add equal amounts of chicken, avocado, and tomatoes. And then for your dressing, you want to drizzle on some lemon juice, some olive oil, and then a light sprinkling of salt and black pepper. And then you're ready to serve this amazing dish. And just like that, you've made your very own chicken avocado quinoa salad. This recipe has such a great mix of textures and flavors that's going to send your taste buds into overdrive. I know you're going to love this recipe and I can't wait for you all to try it at home. And like I mentioned before, this recipe makes a lot of food so you can easily serve a family or you can use it for meal prep throughout the week. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine, Volume 1, Finding Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description box. Thank you all for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned for next week, where I show you to make my delicious recipe for falafel. Well, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.